viewers all over the world welcome to the classes of deliverance from witchcraft prison altar gate of heaven psalm 79 verse 11 may the groans of the prison come before you with your strong arm preserve those condemned to die finger of god Get me out of the witchcraft prison of poverty. Make me exceedingly fruitful in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to a class of deliverance from witchcraft poison. Venue, Altar Mount Moriah. 2 Kings 4 verse 38 to 41 say, Elijah said to his servant, Cook some soup for the prophets. Verse 40, The soup was poured out for the men, but as they began to eat it, they cried out, Man of God, there is death in the pot, and they could not eat it. Verse 41, Elisha said, get some flour. He put it into the pot and said, serve it to the people to eat. And there was nothing harmful in the pot. All the deadly poison of cobras in the food I ate, blood of Jesus, flush them out. Come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the class of deliverance from witchcraft arrestors. Altar, Mount Zion. 1 Kings 13 verse 1 to 5 says, Behold, a man of God cried out against the altar by the word of the Lord. When King Jeroboam heard the saying of the man of God, he stretched out his hand from the altar, saying, Arrest him. Then his hand, which he stretched out toward the man of God, withered, so that he could not pull it back to himself. Holy Ghost, arrest all the witchcraft kings that attack my progress. Paralyze their hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the classes of deliverance from swallowers of prosperity. Venue, altar of Mount Carmel. The word of the Lord comes from Job 20 verse 15 and it says, He will spit out the riches he swallowed. God will make his stomach vomit them up. Jeremiah 51 verse 44 says, I will punish Baal in Babylon and make him spew out what he has swallowed. All the forces of darkness that have swallowed my prosperity, catch fire, spit out my riches in the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to the classes of deliverance from witchcraft storms, venue altar of Bethel. Mark 4 verse 37, a great windstorm arose and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Verse 39, Jesus got up, rebuked the wind and said to the waves, quiet, be still. Then the wind died down and it was completely calmed. The wind and the waves obeyed him. Jesus Christ, you are the same yesterday, today and tomorrow. Calm the witchcraft storm in my life. Let there be peace in the name of Jesus Christ. 